I did three hour alone challenges on this trip and the first was in Maastricht in the Netherlands. I interviewed random people on the street, very service level questions because this was mostly to get me out of my comfort zone and help me get used to talking to people that I don't know because normally I'm not one to initiate conversations. The second hour alone I did was in Cologne, Germany and I found a bookstore where I talked to the owner for a bit um, and I noticed a lot of improvement in myself because I was able to have a full conversation with him instead of struggling with random interview questions. And then I also found out that he had done research in Michigan. Um, so I thought it was really cool that I could make a connection with someone all the way across the world. Um, thirdly and lastly, I was in Paris, France, and I went near the Eiffel Tower uh, to ask locals what English phrases they thought were important to know and then in turn what French phrases I should know in order to get by and I noticed how in both languages the most important phrases to know had to do with being polite and through these uh, challenges I developed the global competencies of adapting to situations of change undertaking tasks that are unfamiliar, applying information to a broader context, and assessing the impacts of decisions. Um, I specifically went into each challenge trying not to have any expectations, therefore I do not feel like I had any unmet expectations. I didn't want to make assumptions about what would happen um, because I feel like if you plan something like that too much then things really won't go according to plan anyway and it'll be just be more stress. For recommendations for the students next year, I would say go somewhere like a cafe or somewhere you can people watch and make up stories about the people that you see around. Um, after you've written those down, then go interview that person about their life so that later you can compare the two and analyze your own prejudices through your assumptions in the first story. I wouldn't say just sit in a restaurant and talk to the waiter because I feel like anyone can do that and it's not really getting you out of your comfort zone. These challenges fit with my broader goals because um, my broader goal is to become a better educator and through the classroom observations and discussions surrounding the experiences we had um, along with the global competencies I gained through my our alone challenges and the rest of the trip, I feel like that helped me with my goal of becoming a better educator in the future. As for my inquiry posts, I do not think that my hour alone challenges fit with them because as I was writing my inquiry posts, I took them more as an opportunity to further my academic knowledge in subjects that would help me with my teaching or something that I was interested in. On the other hand, my hour alone challenges was more of a time for self-improvement in a more emotional and less tangible context. I will be, this will make me act differently in the future in the sense that um, both the hour alone challenges and inquiry posts have given me skills and perspectives to be a better teacher for my students. Learning more about culturally relevant pedagogy and children with autism, I am able to use my newly acquired skills and perspectives to help students in my class that we may not have discussed in some of my other education classes at MSU. I think doing my own research um, and making sure that I was getting both sides of um, issues did help me have a deeper perspective of these things and therefore I will be able to help my students better and I think because of the global competencies of adapting to situations of change even if something comes up with my student that I don't expect I'll be able to come up with a creative solution or react quickly in order to change my plan and help my student in whatever way is best.